What's happening, man? Boss Golf back on some Scrunk Saturday videos for you guys. Well, I guess this would be like a Scrunk Saturday slash uh, either Fight Friday or uh, weekday video, depending on like uh, which segment of this of this beta we do. But either or, we're playing some City in T, man. Uh, Final Fantasy. I have been looking forward to playing this game for a hot ass minute. Uh, tried to get my hands on the closed beta, didn't get didn't get a chance to do that. But luckily for everyone, Square Enix has released the open beta of Final Fantasy, or it, I think the proper title is Dissidia Final Fantasy NT, but I'm not too sure. Now I did play this. Oh wait, before we get into this, I have to let all you silly motherfuckers know about the playlist of the Italia. Which is Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkai Ichi 3. It is the month of Dragon Ball. Dragon Ball Z, actually, by the time y'all see this, has already come out. And most definitely, uh, gameplay is already up on the channel. Um, it's, it's, the, it's the month of Dragon Ball, man. Dragon Ball Z out is fresh. So in honor of that, in honor of fighters dropping, uh, we're going to have... Budokai Tenkaichi 3 in the link in the description box down below. So if you like Dragon Ball games or if you like Budokai Tenkaichi 3 or if you're just curious about it, make sure you click that link in the description box down below. Other than that, man, we hopping into this shit. So I did play this a tidbit earlier. And uh, my first impressions off of it, just by looking, I'm going to say this first before I say that. Whenever I like try to play a game or like think of think about like oh this might be a good game to play and everything my the initial impression first impression is everything and my first impression of this game so far is I don't know if I like it I don't know if it's I don't know if it's a good game for me and I say that for various amount of reasons one of the main reasons is because um, for those that haven't played the the city game on PSP this game is uh, extremely different from its previous installments of, of the city. Since even in the story, I think this is supposed to be a continuation of the Dissidia games, and the gameplay is a lot different. And I, I really did like the gameplay in um, in on the PSP games, but for some reason, I feel like the gameplay on this is a lot different not not only is it a lot different it's uh not as smooth and it's very the speed is toned down of the battle um the graphic for at least for a ps4 game the graphics are great it's not it's not the graphics i guess it's more of the gameplay and and how the game is played and like what you have to do in order to play it. it's it's different i know and that could be part of the reason too Another reason is there's 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 loot boxes. <laughs> we all know uh, games for some fucking reason. Everybody thinks loot boxes is the future of video games, which that shit isn't. But they got loot boxes in this, and they hide they hide it behind something called a treasure. When you pop into the the, the open beta, at least it probably be like this for the first game. When you pop into the open beta, and you you get uh, you get like your first treasure thing. Hopefully, I have one. I think I do from training. Yeah, I got two treasures from training and doing like the AI battles and they give you treasures and this gives you access to uh, I'm assuming so far. I've only got like icons and shit like that, but I'm, I'm assuming this gives you access to costumes specials Basically if you ever played a game with loot boxes, i.e. overwatch or injustice 2 think of along the lines of that so you confirm your your treasure, right? and you get random shit Classic loot box deal. Yeah, see, I got uh, I got a song from Final Fantasy 13. Um, I got the Onion Knight icon from Final Fantasy 3, and I got the Final Fantasy Tactics character. Uh, his his saying that he says during battle or before battle. I don't like this. I I, I don't like this. Um, I, I, it's probably the reason, probably because I don't understand them, but I don't, I don't like loot boxes because I feel like instead of, um, 
what do you call it? Instead of putting content like that inside of the game for it to be unlocked, like let's say you do a certain amount of battles or you do special conditions during shit like that, they hide it behind loot boxes. And then uh, obviously you can shop for micro, either microtransactions or to shop for more treasure to or, or loot boxes, treasure, whatever the fuck you call it in this game, to get more uh, of your shit. So uh, classic loot box shit, that, that, that was an obvious turn off for me. So the battle mechanics, the loot box, um, other than that so far, at least from what I've seen and a little bit from what I played, it's okay. It's okay. Like I said, I don't, I, I, initial reaction is I don't like it, but looks and uh, first impressions is not everything when it comes to playing shit like this. So, um, and, and I just go off that because uh, it was a big difference from turning this on and first playing it and then turning on something like Dragon Ball Fighters. I touched Dragon Ball Fighters and I was like, this game's fucking good. And I turned this on and I was like, I like Square Enix, it's Final Fantasy, but it's not as good as what I've played coming from the city of Final Fantasy games so far. So, uh, with that being said, we're gonna get into this. I've only done so far the training and a couple of AI uh, offline battles. Today, we're gonna start off with the story mode um, and see if they, I got some Memoria earlier, and Memoria is apparently how you're able to unlock uh, different content inside of the story mode. So I, I'm, I'm not too sure on how that works. They haven't really specified unless they, they talked about it in streams, which I haven't watched. So uh, Memoria, this is how the scene is cut out, and it has uh, different areas of the map that you can go through different stories and apparently memoria is what you get in order to unlock different shit within the story but to my knowledge the only way you get memoria is by playing offline battle and possibly online battle which isn't it's not too bad but it's not a good idea i don't think so we're gonna hop right into this shit uh it just yeah we're gonna hop right into this make sure my graphics are good okay yeah let's ride right into this final fantasy the city of nt uh expand memorial to unlock yes unlock yeah i don't know i don't know if i am cool with that uh having parts of the story locked behind like you have to play ai battles dimensions but we'll see. We'll see. This is just the beta, and that's that's what betas are for. I, I know for like developers and shit, betas are for uh, the test online, fix various bugs and shit like that. But also, uh, I, I see it kind of like a, a rental from any other store. I like betas because it's like, okay, I get to try this game out uh, before I throw various monies at it without knowing anything about it. So, we're about to see, we're about to find An out together. Power acted upon it, bestowing these remains with purpose once more. Thus it shines. Yeah, and they even got new new uh the what do you call the deities? Era, Last time it was Cosmos and Chaos supreme. and this time it's I don't even know this chick's name and the other guy. I think it's Materia and um something else. That was it? That was it. <laughs> okay. So I was just introducing those two characters. That was it. We had to spend Memoria to in, or, in order to view that. Let's move on to the next one. Let's see what this, this other one has. A princely welcome. Upon opening his eyes, a certain prince is greeted to the world. He has never before seen. Sounds like Noctix. Let's ride into this. Oh, look who it is. Where the hell am I? 
Uh, Ignis? Ma? Must be Gladio's doing. Hmm. What? Where did I... Huh? You the welcoming committee? You okay? <laughs> Wait. You real? Huh. What's it look like? Hmm. Huh. I'm sure you can figure it out. I gotta be dreaming. Sorry, but you're wide awake. Huh. First timer, huh? So then, you're from around here? However, others like us should be here. There's others? <laughs> like him. Is that you, Lightning? And he is... Hey there. A new ally. Welcome to the fight. Ally? Uh, hold on. I thought it was finished. We have been called upon to serve a new purpose. By Cosmos? No. By the heiress of her will. Serve what new purpose? I'll explain on the way. You're coming too. Seriously? <laughs> we shall go and seek an audience with her. And once again, that's it. So these are all of these are cutscenes, which sucks. I wish they'd give us a little taste of how story battles are gonna go, but it looks like these are just cutscenes. Scenes. This is the only one that I haven't seen, like in trailers and stuff like that. But uh, this scene, at least in ja uh, in Japanese dub, I've seen this scene. But um, the graphics. I love the cinematics and graphics are, are great. In this game if there's one thing square enix can get down <laughs> at least within like the recent years is the graphics and the cgi within their games and their animations and shit like that is top notch i i still think it's it's some of the best cgi that uh any other like video game developing company has ever done and that that's that, that's just me I, I've, I've yet to see anything beat square enix cgi so that's that but um, if I get more Memoria, I'll definitely come and view these cutscenes because I do think at least these two are brand brand new, like nobody's seen them except for in the beta. But other than that, man, it's story mode. It's gonna be a story. It's a continuation of the city of the first the city of Final Fantasy because the second one was a prequel to the first. So this is the third in the series. But um, like I said, the only thing that that kind of bugs me and it, it might be because the shit's different is the battle system but we're about to we're about to try that shit out right now and see how it fares i guess how i like it all right so let's go ahead and do i did i've done the tutorial i'm not gonna go back and do that uh let's fuck with offline mode do we want to do that yeah let's do let's do some offline battles Let's do uh, gauntlet mode. Uh, sparring match, that must be 1v2. 1v... 1p versus 2, 2p. Uh, so let's let's do gauntlet mode. Or I could have just said uh, local versus. <laughs> That's easier. I'm trying to configure a goddamn sentence. Alright, so their standard match... In wow, wow! Their standard match, standard matches... Your standard match in the next core battle.